Google's Nexus 5 appears to already be at the FCC. Pre-orders for the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy Gear have begun in the United States. And Amazon is rumored to give you a phone, and I mean literally give you a phone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and trust me, I am not wearing this jersey for any particular reason today. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news as pre-orders for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the Galaxy Gear have begun on T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. the case of T-Mobile, the deal is a little sweeter, $100 less than on the other carriers, but even more interesting is the fact that the Galaxy Gear is as expensive as can be. So the question is, if you're pre-ordering this phone on any other carriers, and aside from that, LG is also offering the G2 on pre-orders on AT&T as well. Leave us a comment down below if you've pre-ordered any of these. Now let's talk about Nokia. We know about their phablet project codename Bandit, and we've seen a couple of leaked photos of this device that we kind of considered fake because the whole Windows Phone UI just did not look adequate for the phone. But as it turns out, we finally get the first press renders of the phone, and yeah, this looks pretty much like a Nokia Lumia 925, only on a bigger chassis and a 1080p display. Now, that 1080p display is probably going to delay this phone until Windows Phone 8.1, so stay tuned for that. The reports of Amazon working on their own smartphone are older than dirt. We're kind of bored of them, but we've got some more credible sources talking about the company building a phone and actually giving it to customers for free. Now, yeah, notice I said customers. There is no such thing as a free lunch anywhere. Apparently, Amazon will be offering this phone for free to Amazon Prime customers, which is still a good deal since you will pay $80 a year and you're still getting free shipping and streaming videos and a free book and just about everything. It's actually a cool deal. Let's just just hope it happens and let's see how we root it afterwards. Now, you know, this whole deal between Google and Nestle with KitKat, you know, Android 4.4 is getting kind of hilarious. I mean, we still don't know what to expect from the operating system. And as it turns out, Google and Nestle are teaming up to offer free Nexus 7s, a thousand of them, and even free Google Play gift cards for 1,000 specific uh, Android KitKat bars that are in the market. I think Google's kind of forgetting what we're really after here, but as it turns out, again, you can get a free Nexus 7, so uh, go get your break. And finally, for the hot news of the day, usually the Nexus smartphone is not necessarily an expensive phone because it doesn't have the top tiered specs that other phones have. But as it turns out, the LG Nexus 5 is already at the FCC, or so we think. And well, this phone has got a Snapdragon 800 processor, it's got LTE connectivity, it's got a 5 inch 1080p display, so there is nothing about this phone that makes it a pushover. And if LG figures out a way to get that optical image stabilization of the G2 on this phone, this this phone is going to be the massive hit of the year if Google could keep the price tag at $300 at least. So that leads me to the question of the day. After everything you see in these leaks, are you interested in an LG Nexus 5? We'll most probably see it in the next couple of weeks. In my particular case, honestly, if they keep $300 for that phone with those specs, that is my next device. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week because I have a case of beer back there waiting for me.